Hello, we are Team Vyad, says VIT from Valor Institute of Technology, India. We are a multidisciplinary team of undergraduate students with a passion for building mass rover prototypes. We are proud and excited to present to you our rover for URC 2021. The chassis and suspension department has focused on improving the robustness of the rover and reducing the body weight. The octagonal chassis is made up of hollow aluminium bars welded together which provide a good strength to weight ratio and maximize the available area within the required dimensions. The chassis sits on an improvised double wishbone suspension system fitted with customized dampers. We have used our experience from the previous years to make certain changes to the suspension setup which improvise the rover's stability, ensuring better traversal on rugged terrain and help the rover in maintaining a low center of gravity. Low pressure beach wheels are used for their superior weight to height ratio. They provide better traction and reduce vibrations on the rover, thus ensuring the safety and smooth working of onboard systems. Extensive testing in the URC 2020 phase has helped us come up with upgrades on the already implemented arm which are in theory right now. A 6 degree of freedom robotic arm which gives our arm a wide range of reachability and is powered by two linear actuators which provide a load bearing capacity of 7 kgs as well as backlash prevention. For the servicing task, we have a custom made parallel motion 2 jaw gripper with a jack screw mounted on top which gives us higher precision. With this data and the linkages changes, this improves the system overall. Two linear actuators and four DC motors are used to provide better holding torque and make for smoother movements at the elbow and shoulder joints as compared to the previous version. Custom PCBs were designed to control the drivers for all the actuators and is controlled by an Arduino Mega. The programming for the arm is done in Arduino and the code is designed to easily support inverse kinematics for human-like movements. We have also successfully implemented inverse kinematics on the robotic arm. The IMU sensors give us an idea about the position of the arm. Given a target 3D coordinate, the arm now moves to the desired location without the need of manual interference. To get the relative coordinates of the gripper of the robotic arm and object of interest, we construct a point cloud using Kinect 360. This year, we are also planning to control the robotic arm using an Xbox controller. This year, to improve our power distribution system, we have implemented a power distribution board. This will reduce the connection time and increase the efficiency of the system. We have implemented a battery monitoring system as well as integrated cooling fans, over voltage and reverse polarity protection with the drivers to prevent overheating and failure of the drive system. Furthermore, we have shifted from Arduino to STM to reduce power consumption and achieve faster computation. We are using two LiPo batteries to power various subsystems of our rover and a kill switch is made available to handle unexpected system failure. In autonomy tasks, the key to competition success is extensive testing in pathological conditions and rapid iterations. Our RTK GNSS is able to achieve centimeter level accuracy and IMU sensor fusion allows us to robustly determine the orientation. This data combines with the results of the testing the suspension allows the system to autonomously navigate different trains safely. Point cloud is generated from molecular video feed from two IP cameras which is fused with Kinet V2 camera to create obstacle cost map as to build safe traversal path which is implemented using DOS navigation stack. We utilize custom GUI to specify multiple waypoints. Once it reaches the waypoint, it enters spiral search pattern mode where rover will locate AR tag beyond given coordinate by analyzing contour of the video stream. From there, the rover will execute a navigational routine to either approach or pass through the gate. In case the rover gets stuck, it will initiate evasive maneuver. This year, we have revamped our web UI to increase readability. Every subsystem has a custom-made ROS package to control and receive data from it. Our control session UI has been upgraded to receive feedbacks from every critical component, making it easier to pinpoint errors. Our video feed system has been augmented by two IP cameras which employ HEVC compression on full HD video streams, giving us better quality while minimizing network congestion. The pan and tilt functionality allows us to view a larger area while giving us a better understanding of the surrounding area. The communication between the rover and the base station uses 2.4 GHz frequency band. A combination of sector and omnidirectional antennae have been used to ensure that the communication with the rover is continuous. This year's science plan focuses on performing in situ analysis using a combination of techniques that search for various biomarkers of life. The sample processing will be done in three stages. A customized setup of auger is used to collect and transfer soil on board. It is first subjected to an array of sensors for pH, temperature, carbon dioxide and thermal imaging to detect heat signatures of organisms. Digital microscopic analysis is done to study soil properties like particle size, texture and water retention capacity. It is also used to search for endolithic organisms to distinguish between extinct and extant life. Chemical analysis is done to quantitatively detect biomolecules such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and starch. The sample is also subjected to an onboard custom spectrophotometer consisting of a spectral sensor to detect the presence of atomic elements and organic compounds from the spectral output. Despite the ongoing pandemic, Team Vyad is ready and ready to go for URC 2021. 
See you there.